We have Bharat Forge, which is at a fresh 52-week high after reporting a solid set of Q1 FY24 earnings. The company witnessed a strong growth in two verticals, defence and aerospace. The total defence export orders are now at over 2300 crore rupees. The passenger vehicle exports and the domestic non-auto business also saw a stellar growth this time. <clears throat> to discuss more on this, we're joined by Baba Kalyani, the Chairman and Managing Director at Bharat Forge. Mr. Kalyani, always great speaking with you. Hope you're in the best of your health. Um, you know, I want to start by asking you about um, the defence business, sir, because after many years of, uh, you know, being in this incubation period, finally we've seen uh, the defence business grow quite a bit and you have order book in excess of 2300 crores. Tell us what is the revenue visibility like for the over the next couple of quarters and what kind of sustainable growth can you see in the defence vertical? See, most of our defence uh, business today, I would say 80% of this currently is all export, which is a big surprise to us because we have we see huge demand coming from different countries for different products. And the, one of the reasons why we are getting so much business is all these products have been designed and developed by us. The IP is owned by us. So uh, we are not dependent on uh, some technical collaboration or tie-up or joint venture or something like that. So I think... That's uh, that's a good strategy that we have pursued for the last 10 years in defense. On the domestic side, uh, there is a huge pipeline uh, uh, of orders uh, which are under, let's say, the whole process. The process uh, is quite complex. And uh, so we, we are very confident that our defense vertical will show stellar results, uh, uh, you know, quarter after quarter. So can you give us some numbers in the domestic side? Because I do understand that, you know, things in India work differently from the export market. The timelines are a bit stretched out. So on the domestic side, what is the quantum of the defense orders that you're looking at currently? Any ballpark number? And in terms of a timeline? But, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, can, I can tell you that uh, if you look at artillery guns, uh, there is already a uh, discussion going on for 307 guns. Uh, of ATACs. There is another uh, RFP for mounted guns, which is also of similar number. So between the two, you're looking at something like, uh, uh, and, and on the ATAC, there are two players, uh, Tata's and us. So it'll get divided. And on the mounted guns, uh, there may be more than two players, but ultimately it'll get divided in two players. So we are looking at, uh, at least in these two areas, uh, uh, the opportunity in the next, let's say, one year of getting order is uh, some anywhere between three to 5,000 crores. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, good morning, Mr. Kalyani. That's a big number then. So a tremendous potential. You're sitting on a good order book as well. But what's the execution going to be that like for the defense vertical itself? I think in the first quarter, defense contributed close to 250 crores. For the year, what kind of revenues can you do from this vertical? Okay. We are targeting this year, uh, this our financial year, to, to get to somewhere around 1,200 crores. Uh, okay. But that will be say, almost uh, like eight 900 crores of exports uh, and then the remaining domestic. Mm -hmm. And I think next year we would like to double this number. Okay. Sorry, that, uh, Mr. Kalyani, hi, good morning. Good to, good to be speaking with you. You said the A tag is for 300, uh, th 300 in number. Uh, the mounted guns is again 300. And the order value accruable to Baba Kalyan, uh, to uh, Bharat Forge could be between 3,000 and 5,000 crores. Uh, is that correct? Yeah. For Bhar the opportunity for the company is between three and 5,000 crores. Uh, Plus, okay. we have multiple other programs that we, have, uh, we are working on. Okay, but for for ATAC, by when uh, will will we see an award this year, uh, Mr. Kalyani? Uh, before December, that's the plan of the Indian Army. Okay, and for uh, for the for mounted guns, you said this is the RFP uh, stage. Yeah, maybe uh, uh, one or you know maybe one quarter after. One quarter after you gave us some numbers uh, for the uh, you know uh, revenues that you expect from the defense vertical as a percentage of overall uh, numbers. I mean, could you give us? Is there a sort of you know internal target in mind? What do you uh, plan to get to, uh, say by uh, you know in the next one year or so? You know, what percentage of always, revenue? I have yeah. always been uh, many years yeah. ago 
at Bharat Forge, we will strive to become a artillery house uh, on a global basis. Mm. And uh, and that was based on our let's say uh, strategy that we will develop these products ourselves. We will create the IP ourselves, and we will create the best products on a global basis. And I think we are beginning to see the fruits of that. Uh, Absolutely. You know, almost uh, I would say sixty seventy percent of the world today uses uh, artillery products which were designed 60 years ago. Yes. Uh, so, They're you know, uh, Mr. Kalya, sh sure. No, we got that. I mean, these are some really um, optimistic estimates that you're putting out in the street likes it. The stock is surging as we speak. So you're saying 1,200 crores revenue in the defense vertical in FY24, looking at around 2,500 crores in FY25. So that's doubling over there. Uh, I want to understand a little bit about what this would do to your margin profile over the longer run. Because in the standalone business, you've been steady state at 25% margins for three consecutive quarters now. Uh, is there scope Don't overall see, both uh, for standalone and consolidated to grow margins further? You will see, you know, consolidated is a little difficult question to deal with sure. uh, in terms of margins because for overseas, I cannot generate a 25% margin. I think yes. we all know that. Uh, but if I look at uh, the India business, you know what we manufacture in India, I would I would see a steady increase in our margins from 25 percent, more towards 29 percent over the next three four years. Okay, uh, so you know I wanted to also check with you. I mean, since you said that in in the consolidated business it's a bit hard, you've also been working to reduce your losses in the overseas subsidiary. So I was going through the numbers. I think from a loss of around 150 crores in Q3, overseas subsidies losses are now less than 100 crores. At what point do you think you can turn into the black? I think by the end of the year, we have said that, uh, I said that in our quarterly update, uh, that by end of the year, we will convert, we will turn these companies around. Europe, Europe is already turning around. Uh, the challenge is in the US because it's a greenfield operation. And, uh, you know, we unfortunately, did it during the COVID period and with all the problems that you can get in COVID with people and delays and everything else, it's been a challenge. Okay, uh, you know, I have uh, one last question on the earnings, but before that, since defense is such a big opportunity and you are in the thick of the things at the moment, I just want to check with you, is there any more, um, you know, uh, capex that you will need to put on board? Any more debt that you would have to take on board in order to get this defense plan running? And anything from the government's end that needs to be done in order to streamline this process further? As far as, let me answer your second question first. As far as the government is concerned, I have never seen a more uh, helpful government uh, process right now for private for us at least uh, to get our defense uh, act together, especially on exports. I mean, they have been they have been going out of their way to make things happen. So we are very happy with the kind of support that we get from the Government of India, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of External Affairs. I mean, everybody is involved in this process. So it's great. I think there, and the Honorable Prime Minister has put a target for exports on defense. And I think that's being pursued pretty seriously by the system. Uh, so that's, a, that's, that's good news uh, as far as uh, defense is concerned. Uh, but, you know, uh, please, uh, as far as CapEx is concerned, we are now... I just said in our uh, first quarter review that we will spend roughly about a thousand crores in capex uh, in three areas. Uh, a large part of that will go in our existing business because our existing business uh, we are following a strategy of last man standing, and we are inundated with business in our existing business. Okay, we that's a great way. That's a great yeah. way to end the discussion, Mr. Kalyani. You're inundated with business in the existing business. It's always a, a good place to be in. Yeah. Thanks a lot for and joining us. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Complete your point. And the last, uh, uh, the third area where we are working very hard is to create a new industrial business. Because we, we see as India's uh, overall economy grows up, the GDP grows up, the industrial side of India's business will uh, increase at a dramatic pace. 
right now it's you know most of the industrial products are imported so we have created we uh, you know we've just bought some companies that make castings we are now converting them from uh, components to products so there is a whole strategy in place of creating a fairly substantial industrial business in the next 3 4 5 years okay and all the best with that uh, mr kalyani and thank you as always for joining us and speaking to cnbc tv 18 that's a very optimistic baba kalyani looking to double their revenues in the defense business from 1200 crores to 2400 crores by fy25 and big targets there the stock is up and about but the other stock we're looking at is